<clears throat> hey everybody, it's Denny here from Angel Handmade Papercraft. Today I am doing a video for Helmar Worldwide. Um, they make a lot of the uh, liquid adhesives that I use. So the one in particular that I'm going to be using today is the Scrap Dots. So if you haven't heard about this product, this is like a liquid uh, foam dots. So when you pop it down, it's a thick format. Um, and as long as you don't squeeze your product flat, it will keep that uh, 3D effect. Alright, so what we're going to do today is we're going to stamp out an image and we're going to be layering that image up using the scrap dot. So we're going to be using this new stamp that I just received from My Favourite Things. This is the Grande Sized Love. So as you can see, I haven't used it before. So we're going to open him up. Out of the packet first. All right, so we're going to stamp this young lady out onto some Express It blending card first. So I'm using my nice new mini Misty. I'm going to pop in my Express It blending card. We can actually probably stamp out a couple if we do it this way. So let me zoom out. my magnet just so that my paper doesn't move all right so we're going to stamp her out she is nice and sticky because like I said it is a brand new stamp grabbing some memento tuxedo black this is my go-to ink for black ink stamping we're just going to stamp her out, make sure she's inked up well. We may need to stamp her twice because it is a brand new stamp. But let's try it out and see how we go. Alright, yep, let's just ink her up again. going to just stamp her out a couple more times just while we've got this in the mini misty As you can see she is starting to stamp out a little bit clearer as you go a lot of new stamps you do need to stamp out a couple of times to get that nice ink right, let's move her over and we should be able to just get one more Alright, just gonna grab a baby wipe. Doesn't matter what kind of baby wipes you use. Cleaning off the stamp so that we can put her away. And just cleaning off the door of your misty. I like to put my stamps away as soon as I use them so I don't lose them. We are going to use her again. I just remembered what I was going to do. All right, so there's our first images stamped out. And next we are going to stamp her onto some patterned papers. So this is where the layering is going to begin. So we need one color for her undershirt and one color for her dress. So on her dress, this is a Casa Craft uh, bow and arrow six and a half inch paper pad. Mm. 
Then we could go with some autumn colours. So we might be able to do her underdress, undertop in that, and maybe her dress in this one. Just seeing what else there is. We don't want to use any of the woods. The leaves are too big. Dun, 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 dun. That one's cute. So we're tossing between this one here or this one here. Let's go with this one. <clears throat> Alright, so all we are needing to do is we only need really just to stamp up this part of her body here um, and then her dress. So grab her back out again so so that I'm not using up too much of <clears throat> my cardstock I'm just going to stamp her into the corner I'm just going to grab a um, acrylic block rather than using my misty that way I can just stamp out the area that I need Grab my ink out. So we really only just need that section. So we'll just stamp that here. Oh, we don't even need her head. So I'm going to stamp that off and I'll just wipe my board off when I'm done. And this one we need her dress, so we will stamp all that section there out. And then could probably even do her little boots in that same pattern paper. Let's stamp the boots out and have a look. Cleaning off the stamp and all the ink off my desk. Close the ink up so that you don't make a mess. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab some Copic markers. See if that's dark enough. So we're going to just add some shadowing in on her. So this one here, we said we're going to do the underdress, the undershirt, I should say. So I'm just going to add. Hopefully this works. I haven't done this in a very very long time. And then we're going to do the boots as well. Now just keep in mind that this is not blending card. It's so it's not going to have the perfect blend but it'll just be enough just to give some details so just working the way through just going to grab some colorless blender as well And just pull that colour out a little bit, just so you can still see the pattern on that paper. Alright, so that's the under the undershirt and the boots done, and then we're going to do her dress on this one. W2 
just so that it doesn't look like it's completely flat and then we just blend it back out. So I'm doing the same thing as if it was on the blending card. Alright, so that's those done. Alright, so now we need to go in and colour our image up. Just pull my whole copy bag out. Triple, double, 11, 24, EO4. Alright, so starting with our E triple zero, we're going to go in and start adding in our colour. Going in with our darkest, which is our EO4. Alright, so we're going to go in with our darkest, which is our EO4. I'm just doing a really quick colouring because obviously this video is not about the colouring, it is about the products that I'll be using. Okay, so. If you want to see one of my normal, more detailed colouring videos, you can go and check those out. I usually go into a lot more detail and not so quick colouring. Uh, A21. Always looks like a hot mess to start with, but once you start colouring all of those other colours in, it looks a lot better. Adding in some cheeks. All right, then we go back in with our E double zero. And we start pulling all that color into the center of the face. Blending all of those cheeks. Pulling the color into the legs. And finally, back to our E triple zero. The next thing we're going to color is her hair. So I will probably use my E seventies, I think, on this one. You can use any blends that you have for hair. Four, seventy-seven, and seventy-nine. All right. So, just going to color the lightest color first. Uh, I'm not good with talking all the way through as I'm working, so I do apologize if I'm not. Speaking all the time, uh, E79, as you guys know I normally do voiceovers, I don't normally talk as I'm working my way through. Alright, so that's the E79. Back to the E77. And onto the E74. Just a little extra just to blend it. Alright, 
So that's the hair done and the body done. All right, so now we're going to start attaching all of our layers. So I'm going to pull out my EK Success cut of scissors. These are my go-to for any fussy cutting or any small section cutting. All right. So on this image here, we're going to be cutting the bottom half of the body. So we don't need any of her head, so we're going to just cut that straight off. So, we are going to go in and cut your hands off. Because obviously we won't be needing those. Because they are coloured with the Copics. So that is the undershirt and then we will, I think we're going to use the boots so let's just cut them out and then we will make a decision later. So again we won't be using the legs so we can cut the little legs off. little boots down the middle one and two all right and on this one we need the dress Again, we're going to cut all the way around, just trim that off. And the arms can come off this one. And carefully let's hope I'm doing this right because it has been a long time since I've done any of this kind of stuff Making sure that I'm cutting right on the line so you still get that stamped line. So that part will go here over the top of this one. Actually, the coffee cup can stay because we're going to layer something over the top to make the coffee cup, I think. Alright, so that will be the coffee cup section. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so you've got your tube of scrap dots.
All right. So I think we'll do the boots first. So I'm just going to try and get a good hold of it. So you're going to give it a nice... All right, let's try this again. So a nice squeeze of the product. Making sure to give it all a good nice coat. Where my tweezers are, so we're just gonna very carefully use the scissors to lay it down. making sure that you're not pushing too hard All right, and then we'll go in and do the next one same process again just carefully holding on to it Just gently get it into place. So you don't want to push too hard, but you do want to make sure that it's still nice and evenly flat. All right. So the next layer will be the green of her shirt. So we'll pop that down next. the strength in my hands at the moment even pushing this down is hurting Just using my finger to carefully wipe off any excess before I put it down on my image. Alright, so this is the coffee cup over the hands and the shirt. Alright, now this piece is the top of the dress. So that's going to go on here. This piece here is going to be flattened out a little bit. All right, so I'm trying to find a good place to put my fingers. So again, just squeezing out. hold so I don't drop it.
the problem is, is that I have early arthritis in my hands. This is not as easy as it should be for that reason. Alright, so this piece here will then slip in under here. So I've made of her boots. Because I'm so messy trying to do these things, I'm just going to take off all of the excess adhesive that I've messed everywhere. And the last thing that we need to do is the coffee cup. So we're going to do that next. Alright, so let's go back to that paper pad. Now I think we may be able to get something out of these. So let's just move that to the side. Grab our stamp and our acrylic block. So I'm thinking we will be able to get the little stripe out of the coffee cup there. Let's grab that now while it's so that'll be the coffee cup. Just get the green for this one. Okay, that should be it. Alright, so the coffee cup main piece needs to go down first. section of the coffee mug. And lastly, will just be that little stripey piece right there.
So now I've got ink everywhere because I'm a grubby crafter sometimes. And then she will be ready for a card so we will just very carefully fussy cut her just remembering that she is not dry you guys can see all the layers except for the ones that I screw up as I touch them. Let's try that again. All right. So there she is all layered up um, and that was using the scrap dots. So I will have her on a card soon. Um, I will pop that on my YouTube channel. But for now, I thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed um, and have a little more patience with me. As I said, my hands just don't work very well anymore. I have early arthritis in my hands. So things like this that have little tiny pieces are a little bit harder for me than what they should be. So I hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you all soon. Bye.